Hi, it's Eldine from the Mind Body Project. Welcome back, day number four of 10 reasons why NLP New Code is better than therapy, in my opinion, anyway. So number four, the practitioner doesn't need to know the problem. That is the best thing ever. In therapy, you're trying to talk about problems and you're trying to get to a problem um, and when it comes to NLP new code you don't need to know the problem and in fact when it comes to NLP you don't need to know the problem right you just don't need to know it the other thing is as well is because this is to do with content versus process So therapy goes in content. So in other words, you will go to a therapist and you will speak about what you think consciously is the problem and what's led up to it. Now it might be an event and it might be something you just don't know. It might be a traumatic childhood. It might be um, whatever it is, yeah? But that's what you will talk about and then you will try and essentially reframe or reevaluate what is actually um, the meaning of that so that you can move forward yeah, and help you deal with it. Now, where I think therapy provide very good um, very good service is that they will sit there and listen to you and go through that, especially when it's just happened. Yeah, so counselling, uh, therapists, when something's just happened, they're very good at sitting there listening to you, help you, and they're very patient with you. As that's what I think is very good um, and useful uh, for doing that. Um, but that is content. So you're talking about content there. Yeah. But here's the thing with content. I'm going to say a sentence now, and then I want you to tell me. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions about it and see if you can come up with the answers that I have in my head. Ready? The cat is playing with a fluffy ball. Yeah, so the cat is playing with a fluffy ball. Elding has gone crazy, what's going on? Okay, what color's the cat? What color's the ball? Is it inside or is it outside? What's the surface like? Is it night or day? Now, I've said one sentence there one sentence. So the cat, the cat was black and white and the ball is luminous pink. It's outside in the daytime uh, playing on the grass. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's what I have in my head. Now, if you have something different in your head, which you may probably have, you may have some things that are right, but what's happened there is that I've said a sentence. For you to understand that sentence, yeah, your brain has to do something called a transderivational search. So you go to your history of all the things that you've experienced and you put to piece together this picture in your mind. From your history, your experiences, and your values, your beliefs, um, and your metaprograms and how you think. Yeah, that's just one sentence. So you are always going to go into your history to make sense of what I'm saying. Now imagine hours and hours and hours of sentences. How do you interpret? How do you actually get to the same mind as what a client does when they're telling you all this information? You can't. You can't perceive their reality. You just cannot do it. You, know, you can't perceive their reality. So whatever you say to them, if you give them any advice or anything like that, they're going to resist you. And this is why therapists have a lot of issues with resistance. Yeah, they're going to resist you because you have to come in with your theories and concepts and then try and project that onto a client. And this is why they resist. Yeah, because you're not seeing what they're seeing. You're not hearing what they're hearing. You haven't got the internal uh, representation that they have. It's their content and you can manipulate their content where their, unco their unconscious mind will then resist what you're doing. So that's really bad when, when you're doing that, especially when someone's in a vulnerable state. 
So that for me is quite dangerous. Yep, the intentions are good, I know that. But for me, that's you don't want to get involved with a client's content. And that's why NLP New Code is just about the process because I told you about that picture just a minute ago. But what I could do is say, okay, how big is this image? Where, which, which direction is this image? Is it black and white or color? Is it near or far? Is it focused or defocused? That is not interfering with the content. Yeah, that client's con has got a right to their own con content and they can interpret it any way they want to. I do not want to get involved with that because they are themselves and they can interpret that however they want to. They have the strength, they have the, I trust the client enough to go and deal with their own stuff or interpret the way they want to interpret it for their specific purposes. I don't want to get involved with that. But the process which I was just talking about, which is where the picture is, is it speeding up the picture, rewinding the picture, um, what sounds are involved in the picture, making the sound this side, um, what feelings are going on in your body, uh, we've, we've re reverse the feelings in your body, um, move the picture out there, um, change the picture, whatever. That is all process. That is all process. Yeah, I don't need to have known what's in that picture. Yeah, that's up to the client. The client's got that. We're working together as a team. As long as one of us knows, that's fine. And this is where I think it was missing in therapy was that, okay, let's change the process. Let's go through the process and change this. Because I know if I fire that picture over there, they're going to have a different feeling. Yeah, if it changes it to black and white, they're going to have a different feeling from colour. If I make that picture scrambled, so they can't really see what's in it, it's going to affect them. If I make the picture smaller, it's going to affect them. See, I already know this because I've tested it all out for years now. So I know that's going to happen. But I can do that all with process. That's why I can do it very, very quickly. Essentially, what... Um, a therapist is trying to do is exactly the same thing as me, but taking 50 years to do it. But I can just do tch, 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 done. Now, with the new code games, this is even better because I'm actually chunking up from behavior to state. Because if I just change a person's state through processing, yeah, if I just do a state, just play a game with them, then I can have mult they can have multiple new behaviors at the will of their unconscious mind which already knows what to do. Yeah. So that is why this is a big area. This is why um, process is better. This is why NLP new code is better in this area. I don't need to know why. Okay. Is A B so depressed Essentially, this is the other thing as well, is that depressed, let's say A is depressed and B is happy. Therapists want to know why you are A. Why are you A? How did you get to A? So we can prevent it from next time. Yeah? You don't need that. That's what takes up so much time. All you need to do, all you need to know how to do is get from A to B as quickly as possible. That's all I do. I don't care why you're at A. I don't care why you're depressed. It doesn't really mean anything. It's, no, it's not gonna help you get from A to B. It doesn't make any difference. You can, what usually happens is when I do this, a client gets to there and they're happy, they think that they all of a sudden, answers come to them and they go, I know why I was depressed now. It usually happens after. So if you do the process first, get happy, and then work out why you was at A, it's fine then. But don't do that while you're depressed. It doesn't really make any difference. Do the process first, yeah, process, rather than sit there content and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and getting into negative states, 
which you don't really want to do. Then, so do the, the process first, and then you can find out and have your own thing in your own time. Because you'll be happy then, you'll be fixed then. You'll learn new behaviours then. And then you'll be progressing. So that's, that's, that's why it's a big area, I know, and a big uh, video today, but that is the reason why uh, NLP, new code, is better than therapy.